Hey, it's Chad and Catherine, and today we're in the craft room and we're going to take you back to grade school. I used to love drawing on my teacher's chalkboard in grade school. You're in luck because today we're going to make chalk paint and a chalkboard using DAP's Plaster of Paris, just one of the many uses of Plaster of Paris. So we've already cut our piece of plywood to size and we've sanded it so it's ready to go. Yeah. Now I like to make this kind of chalkboard that you can hang pretty much anywhere in your house, but you could also take this paint, paint it directly on the wall and make a chalk wall. Yeah, so here's the recipe. We like to use a recipe that's three Three parts paint, two parts plaster of Paris, and one part water. And you want to mix it in the jar or the bowl that you're actually going to paint from. So today we're going to use two thirds of a cup of plaster of Paris and one third of a cup of water. You want to stir that up, Catherine? Yeah. You want to stir it until it's pretty smooth. You get all that plaster of Paris mixed in there really well. That looks good. Now we're going to add one cup of paint. So you want that all mixed up really well? I think you're ready to paint. All right. You want to make sure that when you start painting, you get a good, even coat. And then you want to do about three coats of the chalkboard paint so that you get a nice, thick, even finish. And luckily, chalkboard paint dries really quickly, so it won't take any time for you to get all three of those coats in. Once it's dry, you want to apply a light coat of chalk across the front. Then take a sponge and just wipe it down to give it that seasoned chalkboard look. Are you ready to go? Yep, so we're all finished up and you can put a frame around it, you can drill holes in it and hang it on the wall, or you can just leave it as is and write your first message. 